Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fan Fiction Review. Today we are reviewing Groundskeeper Ichigo by Have Book Will Travel. Quite a nice name, I will, might add. And, it, easy to pronounce, and it is a Bleach Ruby crossover story. This story is relatively new, only a couple days old, and it is quite popular if you look at the favorites and follows. And even decent account. I'm can't, I can't wait till the next story. I mean, chapter comes out. Expecting hopefully maybe two days, but it may be a month or so. Either way, the story itself it focuses on Ichigo going to I mean up uh, going to Rev appearing in Rev Remnant and going on with his lives as a handy man because that's what he feels his life is meant for. I would like to point out this is Ichigo at the end of the series before the ep right before the epil before the epilogue of this of the story. So this is basically OP Ichigo <laughs> going in remnant. OP Ichigo remnant. I don't even know need to go any further than that. But he has stated this I ha this story does not focus around combat so much for Ichigo as it will be him being a handyman and dealing with life in Beacon and Vale in particular. Just generally life. And, let's see, although there are a few, just a few minor complaints I do have, and that is, there's no real details or background information about how we got there. It's somewhat vague. The author does mention it, it is because of, what's his name, the, the hat man, the, the freaking guy who caused basically everything for Bleach. No, wait. The one guy who caused everything for Aizen and created the Hokioku. I forget what his name is. I can't remember it. He probably says it down here. Either way, he builds a device to connect to the Sol Serite and Ichigo get... Oh, there he is. Uruhara. And he... Just some incident having that. There's not a lot of details. Definitely the author could have done a bit more with that. Maybe a short prelog or something, but it's not too big of a deal. But definitely something I would definitely like to expand. He should probably expand upon this at a later date about everything that ha why he's there and everything. I'm rambling at this point. Now I do like the fact that it's not a Ichigo, Ichigo does not become part of the st he, students in the one. He becomes a janitor essentially, as told into himself as a janitor. And like how he gets to it, and he even touches upon subjects that I have never even considered for the Ruby franchise, and that is there is no civilians at Beacon. No, <laughs> that is a combat school. In the series, there's never touched upon, to the best of my knowledge, no civilians of any kind at Beacon. I like how he even how he does this. Like, there's hazard pay for, the, for being a janitor there. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure what line was, not even all the hazard pay in the world will get a, a normal civilian to work there. <sighs> but Ichigo being Ichigo can pretty much handle it. I do not particularly like the point where Ichigo is strong as basically trained huntsman in his normal body. But that's me personally. But he does make a few counter arguments that like, uh, I don't remember the exact arguments, but he has stated before that people in the series, in mortal bodies, or gi guys, or whatever they are, have used um, their abilities, or at least some of them. Yeah. And then there's the fact that Ichigo is overpowered. My god. I like how he... Uh, let's see, where it was it? I was looking for it. Oh, right here. Boonin Kuzern. Yeah, she's crying because she does not have to worry about repairing everything. Nice touch. Good point for you. I give that a bonus to points for just being that little scene right there with Glit, with Gl with Good Witch. I can't pronounce her first name properly. <sighs> and it's it just the little touches on the story have uh, make it per particularly noteworthy in my opinion. Not combat focused for him, so. I give the story a pretty good. This is a pretty good story, and I'm look forward to more stories. For, I mean, more chapters from it. Although I'm particularly sure the st the author himself isn't going to be updating anytime soon. Maybe a couple more. Uh, maybe another week or two. Maybe just because he don't he didn't plan on this becoming this popular. So I'm going to sign out here. Give it a look. Go check it out. It's a nice story, and I and one I recommend.
especially if you're Bleach Ruby fans. This is uh, Phoenix signing out.